Hey FlossTube, Ashley here, Boogie Stitcher on YouTube, Shleesum underscore Boogie Stitcher on Instagram, coming to you guys with finally a whip update, a normal floss tube <clears throat> that I'm not unboxing anything, I'm not stitching with me's, I'm just showing you everything that I've worked on for the past three weeks because I'm late. So, you know, things will be things. Uh, I have, I think, 17 <laughs> things to show you guys, so it's gonna be a longer video. Um, I have the 900 follower giveaway reveal that we will talk about in this video. So, um, that will be in there. So I have the pattern that I'm going to reveal it's over here and you can't see it. Um, and then we will, um, talk about that. The giveaway will be left open until I get a thousand. And then as soon as I get a thousand subscribers, we will do, the, the picking of the um, the winner and then we'll send all that stuff out and yeah, we'll just have a lot of fun. Um, first off, I want to say really quick, congratulations Dawn Marie on your 1K. Woo! I shared her like last week's uh, YouTube video so that way she was at like 996 or something. I was like, she only needs like four more guys. Come on, come on, follow. So congratulations. Um, all right, I have tons of stuff to talk about, so let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I have a new start. I talked about this in one of my Stitch With Me's where I was planning on starting this beauty. This is Mini Morning Blue. I call her Bluebell. She's beautiful. Um, I didn't get as far as I wanted to get on her, um, but I got a pretty good start for me, so it is what it is. So, there we go. This was started on Saturday. It's Tuesday today. It's not too much progress. I think I got about 600 stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, about six, maybe a little bit over. Um, started it on the um, 18 cow Ada that I bought from AliExpress in bulk. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of this fabric uh, because it is actually a 19 count fabric, not 18 count. So it's just enough to be kind of in between fabric sizes where it's like eh, three strands is too much, two strands isn't enough, but it seems to be looking okay from far away. So um, super excited to continue working on this one. I'm gonna try and clean up as I go because there's so many projects out here. Okay. Next up, we have one of my newer ones, which is Hogwarts Emblem. And again, I will be taking out all of the black and only stitching the, the emblem itself and the flowers, of course. But this one was from New Craft Day. And I got a pretty good start on this one. have like a bunch of threads hanging but look I see an H and an O and a G and almost a W almost um but pretty good start considering I only started this on the weekend it's looking pretty good it looks like a little blue rose there um but because it's stamped it's really hard to see progress unless it's a dark color so I'll turn the background I have not clipped any of these ends yet don't worry I clip my ends <clears throat> Just haven't got a chance to do it yet, but there it is. I absolutely am loving this pattern. Absolutely loving it. Um, I haven't been able to put it down. I've been working on it every single day since I got it. Besides yesterday, because yesterday was a uh, tree fairy day. Mondays and Wednesdays are tree fairy. Until that will be finished. All right, there's that one. Next up, I have another shout out for Don Marie. Um, so Don Marie has. Instagram is um, DMs Craft Vortex and her floss tube is DMs Crafty Vortex. There we go. I want to make sure I got it right so I wrote it down on my journal. Um, she, <clears throat> she made this. Isn't she amazing? The like stitching quality of like this project bag that she made is just amazing. I could never sew something like this. I am a terrible seamstress. Terrible. Um, that's why <laughs> I have a lot of um, 
uh, seam rippers. <clears throat> I might need to go get my coffee or something. Anyway, she's uh, she went to make this for herself for one of her new um, dragon patterns she's gonna be starting soon, and it didn't end up working out for her. It was a tiny bit too small. So she ended up sending it over to me, which was so sweet, so sweet. So let me show you. So the inside, you put bobbins. Now, all of you know, I don't use bobbins. I use floss cards, but I recently saw in a Facebook storage group where someone uses bobbins as floss drops instead of um, like winding the floss around the bobbin. They basically just attach the thread to the bobbin as if it's a floss drop and then softly wrap the bobbin the thread around the bobbin that way and I thought that was so intriguing um that I am going to try it out um I thought about doing it for my entire DMC collection I'm not sure if I'm gonna be that adventurous and I'm gonna pause and go get something to drink okay I'm back I just got done recording an unboxing video before this. As you can see, I'm gonna be in the same clothes for like several videos. No, Casey, lay down, lay down. You were just fine, you were just outside. What, bud? Turn it up, please. Turn it up? Yeah. Um, where's the controller? Oh, I found it. There you go, okay. <laughs> I'm back. I was saying, I was thinking about um, converting my entire DNC stash to floss card bobbins because I have this giant two tiered, like double sided thing that will, f I think, fit the entire DNC collection. But I just don't know if I want to sit there and convert all of my Ziploc bags. I have these little snack size Ziploc bags. And convert all of those into the bobbins. It'd be so nice to be able to do because I'd be able to have everything right there. Because one, I love my floss cards for my main DMC stash. This is what this is what I have. I've just basically named, numbered all of them. The problem is, is when I'm flipping through these so much because there's so many on one ring. Um, they start to get a little tangled, you see? So this doesn't happen to me when I have like kits where it's only one or two floss cards and the threads are a little bit longer and I just wrap them around and it's all pretty. But for some reason, these ones, I've left the, the threads shorter and they start to get a little tangled and they're starting to get dusty and just not... I don't know. I, I love the convenience of these, but I don't like the convenience. I like the convenience, but I don't like that they're starting to get kind of dirty and um, tangled. And so I'm constantly having to kind of untangle them to be able to flip because I just fl I just flip, 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 flip while I'm looking for my colors. So I've thought about hanging something over right here and just hanging on like one or two of these and hang them up instead, but they're still going to get dusty doing that so anyway I love the convenience or the the look and organization of the bobbins but I'm not huge on the inconvenience of unwrapping them to find your color and then wrap them again and put them away but maybe if it was more like a floss drop or a floss card it would be better I'm not sure it's not What do you need help with, Bob? Hold on. Anyway, so I'm still debating on what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna try it out on this project because Don Marie sent me this beautiful bag and there's like 91, I think, spots in here. Um, and then there's also a pocket right here. And then there's a pocket over here. So I have the Dragon Girl, which I have worked on. Um, and then I have my hoop. Um, and then it comes with a little, I got the pattern printed out. So look at her. So anyway, it was only fitting. She gave me a dragon bag. So I, I had to put in a dragon pattern in here to do the bag justice. So anyway, um, so we stitched on dragon girl 
and not a ton. I did a little bit more stitches up here from when I showed you guys last time. Um, and a little, I think, just like 200 more stitches of black. So not very much, but still something. So thank you again, Don Marie, for sending me this beautiful bag. It's amazing. I will do, I will do you proud as soon as I get the Dragon Girl kitted up. Okay. Next up, we have, let's see, I've done that one, that one. Okay, let's do Pomegranate Girl next. I might as well just continue with shout outs. So Ashley, I did an unboxing video for these project bags. Ashley sent these over to me from monkey underscore and mouse. Um, and they've been working out great. So I have kept Pomegranate Girl in this smaller one. So here is Pomegranate Girl. And as far as progress is concerned, I, oh, I'm gonna have to take her out of the hoop. Otherwise you guys aren't gonna be able to see what I've actually done. Because I've moved around. Okay. Okay, so this one I've moved kind of around a lot. So I stitched a lot on her face because I wanted to see her eye appear. I know there's like a crease right where her eyeball is. There we go. Um, so I've stitched a lot of her face, her eye, you can see her eye starting to appear and her headdress right here. And then I started stitching in some of this red color right here. And then the top corner of the background. So there's not a ton of stitching here and it's really hard to see. So let's look at the back. I stitched a little bit of background color, a little bit of hair, and I stitched one of the eyes and half the face. So, not too much on her, but I will be continuing to work on her. And thank you again, Ashley, Monkey, and Mouse for sending this over to me. The, the project bags, they've been working out super good. And you guys, she's... She's going to be doing a giveaway after 100 followers, so go check out her channel. So you have the details and be entered to win a giveaway. Isn't that perfect? All right, next up I have the Tree Fairy. And so this is my traveling piece, and I've kept this in the project bag that she sent me as well. And it's worked out great. So the Tree Fairy. The Tree Fairy's goal was to be done by the end of February. Um, but with my goals, I try to give myself goals, but I don't beat myself up for not reaching them. I just try. So I do still have one more week, but there's no way I'm gonna be able to finish it in one more week um, because that would mean I have to stitch 1,100 stitches a day for an entire week, and that's just not doable with a family. So <clears throat> I can get close though. So here's where she is. That's the pattern. And I mean, I have to, I mean, I'm, I'm getting so far with this one. I'm just going to have to take it out and show you guys. Take it out of the hoop. So yeah, <laughs> I'm quite crazy with my stamp kits. I just throw them up here, throw like a hair tie and call it good. And my back is insane. Like I haven't clipped any of my ends yet. Cause I, I normally clip them when I move my frame, but yeah, I don't really care. That's just like. No one's going to know that I've like abused this thing to no man's name. Bless you. Because once it's all ironed and washed and cleaned and framed, no one's ever going to know. But I am pretty rough with my patterns. And this one is not surge. So I'll show you guys that too. I didn't surge this one because my sewing machine is down for the count right now. That's what happens when you accidentally stitch adhesive Velcro. Like I said, I'm not a very good seamstress, <laughs> but this one's not, um, not surged and it's, it's doing pretty good. There's only been a couple, um, things that have come off, but look at her. I finished her knee. I finished her other knee. I finished this little, um, like decorative garter that she's got going on right here, or it's a tattoo. I can't tell. And now. 
I've stitched this background, part of her dress. Her wing is completely done. Let me see if I can get out some of the wrinkles so you can see it better. Wing on this side is completely done. And then this side, I'm working on the bottom of her wing right now. So this is like a, her wing has almost like a shadowy part to it. So as soon as I finish up right here, I'm going to move down and then I still have to decide. I have five and a half rows left. Do I, I normally stitch three at a time. Do I just deal and move it once, do that whole section and so then move it again? Or do I continue to do the three and do two more rows across? So, which will be six moves total. So anyway, something I'm still debating, but she's looking awesome. So I'm very proud. She will be finished March. <laughs> She's so close. And I got this nifty little um, light um, because when I stitch on her Mondays and Wednesdays, it's dark. Um, I'm stitching on her in the dark in the car. So I got this little light and I just clip it on my hoop or my, my frame and it's so cool. It's so tiny too, but it just like, you could adjust the color or the brightness. So anyway, I've been using that too, but my traveling piece all fits very nice and neat in my monkey mouse bag and it's perfect. I just still make sure to keep it as a block bag because it is a stamped kit. You just don't want anything to get ruined. There we go. All right, next up we have my dear chapel. This is one of the birthday ones that my husband got for me. <clears throat> it's also a traveling piece. So sorry, I gotta. <clears throat> Um, after mommy's done, I'll turn them on for you, okay? I gotta record my video first though, okay? Anyway, so this is one of my first Joy Sundays, one of my first Joy Sundays. Um, and it's been working out pretty good. It's a 14 count and I haven't actually ever gotten far enough on a 14 count to know if I like 14 count stamp kits or not. So I think this is one of the furthest I've gotten. And so far it's working out great. So I've just stitched in some of this dark sky. Um, I'm working on this Christmas tree over here and the tree right here. And yeah, it's working out awesome. Here's the back. This is one of my neater backs, actually. <laughs> working out pretty good. So, I've got that one. Make sure you're only pushing buttons you're supposed to. That one goes. Is that the pomegranate girl? I lost a one of the backs to my needle minders. I think it's pomegranate girl. I'll have to look later. Okay, next up, we have my very first Joy Sunday um, pattern that I ever got was this castle. So I am going to be filling in this color um, of the sky. I got this from Wooly Nights. Let's get off the chair, please. That's got all my cross stitching on it. Careful. And you're getting into things you're not supposed to on the on the games. I think we're gonna take a break from the games now, okay? I want you to be all done with the games. Thank you so much. I, you can watch your, your movie or you can go play with your toys, okay? Anyway, so um, Wooly Knights has, I think she's finished this. Um, I don't know if she's finished the back stitching or not. I need to catch up on some of her videos still. Some of her stitch with me is. Um, but anyway, she's finished this and it looks amazing. So it got me to get it. <laughs> she enabled me. Um, and she filled in the sky with two different colors that she picked. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to, I'm going to fill in the sky with one of the colors. Um, that's like a, a darker blue, but has like a very purple hint to it, a slight purple hint to it. And it is, this color right here 
And then I'll tell you the DMC color in just a minute. It's this color right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill in with that and see what I think. Um, and that color is um, 13. Oh, I got to get everything back out again. See? Can't be completely organized, can you? 13. Seven ninety two, is that right? I have to look at it again. Sorry, I'm only human. Thirteen, yeah. Seven ninety two. DMC seven ninety two is what I'm gonna fill this guy in with. Anyway, well, I didn't get very much stitching on this because then my other like Harry Potter emblem came in, came in. but I did get about fifty. <laughs> 50 stitches maybe I just started working and filling in these uh these around the windows like in between the windows right here and I filled in a little bit more up here so not very much not very much at all but something so I showed it what you doing babe Let's get off, please. Bring mommy the games. I'm gonna pause, hold on. All right, lunch is made. Anyway, so I'm gonna fill in the sky. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'll show one more and then we'll go ahead and do, pause and do the reveal of the giveaway. So, next up. Ashley, when I did the unboxing of the monkey and mouse, pattern surprise me with another watercolor girl so I had to start it I mean you can't get a gift and not start at least I couldn't help myself from starting I didn't get very far but I didn't actually get as much stitching done last week as I normally do but I got that much so I'm gonna keep working on her I just did right here so there she is. She's beautiful. She's going to be gorgeous when I finish her. Okay, there's that one. Let's go ahead and do the reveal. I'm too excited not to. Okay, so as you all know, <laughs> I'm a pretty big fan lately of stamped kits. I am also a huge fan of Heaven Earth Designs, but what I'm going to be giving away for my 1K followers is a stamped kit. And I have loved this pattern. I still love this pattern, but there's other ones in the series that I like more. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this away. And then if I want it later, I can always get another one. So maybe we'll stitch together or something. I don't know, but I'll do a quick unboxing for this, but I'm giving away a watercolor girl. I don't see the strawberries, Bob. So this is the, one of the ones I'm giving away. It's a 40 by 50, 148 stitches by 191. I only think I unboxed it to show it for a minute. This is one of my very first stamped kits that I got from Tapestry Market, um, like a big haul. Actually, no, I take that back. This is my second order from Tapestry Market. I ordered this one and my first watercolor girl all at the same time. Comes with a little tool pack, a surged canvas. The stamping looks to be pretty good. There she is. And I'm not gonna take the colors out because I want them to stay nice and neat for shipping and everything. Um, but here's the colors. So this, again, is the pattern that is going to be the giveaway. This is the giveaway pattern. So, um, let's, let's see. I think, I think how I'm going to do the giveaway is I want you guys, if you want to be entered into the giveaway, um, make sure you're subscribed. <laughs> make sure you're subscribed. Um, 
And if you are subscribed and you want to um, join it in the giveaway, put, um, let's do watercolor. Watercolor is the word that we're gonna use in the description or in the comment section. So if you want to be entered, you have to leave a comment and you have to make sure you're subscribed because if I do the drawing and you're not subscribed, I'm gonna feel very sad that I can't pick you. Um, make sure you're subscribed and then use the word watercolor in your comment. Um, it could be two separate words, it could be one word, whatever you wanna do, watercolor, watercolor, okay? Watercolor, that's the word, that's our keyword. And then we will do the drawing, so it will remain open um, on this video, so if you want to be entered into the giveaway, you have to leave a comment on this video only um, with the word watercolor. And then um, I will do the drawing after I reach 1K, so 1,000 subscribers, which to me is insane because you think about, you know, okay, you think about 900 because I reached the 900 goal. You think about 900 people. That's like a medium-sized theater. Could you imagine me just sitting on a stage and stitching in front of everybody? Like, I can't, I can't fathom that. So the fact that I have 900 followers, I have 900 stitchy friends watching me, hang out with me, is just, it blows my mind. So thank you. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. I love getting to know every single one of you, seeing what you guys are working on, whether it's stamped or counted or diamond painting or paint by number. It's just fun to craft. So there's our giveaway reveal. And now let's get back to the rest of our stitching. So Lord of the Rings. I got a request to stitch a fair bit on Lord of the Rings or I got a request to stitch on Lord of the Rings and I decided to stitch on it a fair bit. That's what I meant to say. Um, stamp kits don't always have nice pictures, but this is, give you the general gist. And I'll remove the needle so you guys can see where I have gotten to. So I've gotten the outline of Gandalf. Isn't it crazy? So when you look at it close up, it looks like this looks like a blob, but when you hold it far away, I can actually kind of see his face and his beard. So this is his hat, his face, his beard, and he's holding a staff right here. I just haven't finished the staff. But when you hold it close up, it looks like garbage. I mean, it's nice stitching, but it looks, you can't tell what it is until you hold it back. So that's, that's the key of stamp kits. You have to hold them back, but I'm loving it so far. It's just a little bit harder to stitch on at night because the stamping isn't the best. It's okay, but it's not the greatest. Um, and so now that I have my light, I should be able to stitch on it more because I want to stitch on this one um, anytime my husband and I are watching a movie on the couch. So Next up we have our owls. What you doing, bud? Okay. Got this one. This one I've stitched a fair bit. I've stitched and everything else I think a fair bit. There we go. Stitching on the mermaid owl. That's what my daughter calls it. It's the mermaid owl because her scales look like mermaid tail. But I stitched on the owl and then I start stitching some of the background. So we got some background in here too. Again, I have not clipped my ends yet because I have not moved but there is the chaos. What you doing, bud? Just sit down and eat. Eat your sandwich. It's got PB and J sandwich. Lunch of Kings. Highly requested lunch. I try not to make it warm every day. <clears throat> Next up, we have Pokemon. Careful. I call this one my Bulbasaur Pokemon because I do have another Pokemon pattern. But my son calls this Pokemon. He always asks me anytime he sees me stitching, are you working on Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah. Oh, I just recently moved this one too, so I'm going to have to take it out of the frame. Dang it. All right, I've only been working on Bulbasaur 
So you move the needle minder out of the way. There we go. And there's wrinkles. But you get the general gist. There he is. So we got both eyes. We got most of his nose filled in. I'm now working around the snout and trying to get that mouth, the smile in, and the teeth. He's pretty cute. Everything away and when I say put everything away I forgot to put in the pattern for Lord of the Rings I turned something on for the kiddo Next up, we have EV Evolution. Real much Drew. So we got EV Evolution, which is my daughter's. And I really do like working on this one. It's really fun. I think it's because I started in the middle. I <clears throat> just filled in some of here, and I just work and started working in some of the stitches. Oh, look at that ear! It's almost completely filled in. So this one, I, I'm working on her right now. So. She's pretty. Told you guys it's gonna be a long video. I'm so sorry. I thought about maybe trying to do this weekly. That way it's a little less daunting to watch and for me to show. But then it's like, well, then I have to record more videos. And I already record a lot of videos, I feel like. All right, next up we have the witch. What you doing, bubs? Stay over there, please. I want to use some of I want you to use some of the other stuff I gave you, too. There's the witch. I didn't put too many stitches into her. I just wanted to try and get the fairy that's like peeking out above her hat done to see like what the detail is of it. I'm not really sure what I think about the detail of it, honestly, but we'll see. I gotta, I gotta keep stitching around her. Um, and there's a couple of like details I gotta fill in, but what, Bubba? You ride your bike inside down the hall. That's right. We're working on what outside and inside is and what the differences are. We can ride our bike inside down the hall. Lay down, Daisy. Why? Because. It's still a little too cold to go outside. Lay down, Daisy. All right, next up. Next up, we have a stitching shelf. So I started the pattern up here and then I decided I'm going to do down here because it's still winter time. So I'm going to be um, stitching on this shelf a little bit longer before I go back up to spring. Uh, no, we're going to play after we get done filming the video. Okay. There we go. Oh, I have to turn the, that's starting to get cloudy now. There you go. So I've done this. Yeah, we'll make the car go down the hill. I've done all this so far. Not a ton, but um, this is a lot for me. So I originally started only doing like three or four of the columns and rows, like a box. And then I decided, no, I'm not making much progress. So I just cross country and I just went wild. So, still loving it. Next 
up, we have Mini Moon Charmer, one of my absolute favorite patterns I have. She's beautiful. All right. Look at that. I've gotten so much done on her. It's crazy. Good job. Anyway. <laughs> You're so silly. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to continue stitching down until I get bored, and then I'll stop and I'll move over here and start doing some more. Shh, 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 shh. Don't forget, a little quiet. Just quietly. I'll scoot over here and do some of the sky. So that's what we'll do. You're so silly. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's right. So silly. Yes, I am. Next up, we have the cottage. Please, 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 no, thank you. All right, cottage. I'm doing pretty good on the beginning of. Like, shortly after my video, I started working on it hardcore, and then these last couple weeks I haven't really touched it a ton, but... Put the needle minder out of the way. Here we go. Look at the cottage, everybody, in the sky! Oh, it always looks so good when I show it on camera compared to, like, you know, when I'm stitching it. It is so pretty, isn't it? What I'm showing everybody the cottage. Do you think it's pretty? Yeah. Yeah. So there she is. Yeah. Amazing. I'm just, I'm, I'm stitching down here now. So. So good. Again, this will be a finish this year and I cannot wait. This is one of my favorite. One of my favorites. Because it just reminds me of like being a little girl and imagining your dream home and your little fairy tale, and that's just, this is what I think of. Oh, goodness, are you okay? Okay, he like tipped over the rocking chair, fell over. I was like, ah! Okay, anyway, so yeah. I absolutely love how this is turning out. It's one of my favorites. And yeah, I actually, now that I've seen it and seen how good the cottage looks on camera, I gotta keep this out and work on it today. That's how it goes though. Like I just got done organizing all of my projects and then I was like, I don't want to work on everything. Excuse my language, but screw the main whip stash. I'm just going to work on all the things. And that's why I have so many to show you because that's what happens on the regular. All right, I got to keep this out. I want to stitch on that. Okay, next up we have Pokemon, the generation one. And I haven't gotten very far, and unfortunately my, my picture that I have, sh like, cuts it off a little bit. Because there's, like, a whole nother row up here of Pokemon, but this is what it is. You all get the, the idea. And I didn't get too much done on this one either. Maybe about a couple hundred stitches. Um, and again, my plan for this is any of my favorite Pokemon I'm going to be adding some Krennic to. Um, I tried using the DMC, like, Sparkly can't remember the the brand of it but it was too thick and bulky and not quite as shiny so you'll see that there is like a comparison in here but you're not gonna be able to tell once she is step far away but I decided I am gonna do the uh, the Krennic held with my no what you doing let's get out of there please thank you um I'll be holding the Krennic while doing all my favorite Pokemon to the best of my ability. So that way they're holographic. So I don't even know if you can see any of the shine, but there's like shiny all in here. So, yeah. So, again, not very much on this one, but it will get there. Next up, we have Paladin. Paladin girl. 
And this one, I just worked on filling in some more of the background. I only got like a hundred stitches on this one maybe. It's not very much, but started filling in some of the background. She'll be super pretty. This is one of the ones where she's got a little bit of a smaller face um, for the size that it actually is. It's a 38 by 48, which means it's more like a 30 by 40. What you doing, bub? What are you doing? What? Okay, he's petting the kitty. Um, so I was actually quite mad when I started stitching her face because I was like, this does not look good. I'm not gonna stitch this. But my mom told me to continue stitching it. Remember, Ashley, continue stitching it. So I did because when you look up close, it just looks like garbage. I was like, red? What? What is happening? What is happening? But you pull back and she looks like the pattern. So remember, pull back. Oh, let me show you my background here. All right, two more. We're almost there. 40 minutes in, we're almost there. All right, we got this Harry Potter stack. on this one a fair bit at the beginning of the week. There we go. So this one's printing isn't the greatest. Um, and I told the store that this is a purchase of mine. I told the store, um, but we ended up deciding that I think it was good enough for me to just try and do it. Um, and it seems to be working out okay, but unfortunately, because the stamping isn't the greatest on some of the symbols, I have a really hard time sitting and focusing on it. I think it's just because I get a little bumped or confused. My eyes kind of blur out, but you know, it's looking pretty good. So it's just going to be a slower race than I thought it was going to be, considering this is like a 40 by 60. So it's 173 by 259. So it's a big piece. So to have it not be stamped very good. It's a little frustrating, but it it's okay. It's okay. We will make do. But this is the part that's like in, here's the horn. So the castle like appears in the horn. So I'm working on this part right here. And that's where we've gotten to. So doing good. Okay, and last, but certainly not least, we have the castle. Actually, <laughs> I filmed the unboxing video right before this one, and my son decided he wanted to get this one out for me and unbox it too. So he started taking everything out of the bag, and I thought it was adorable, but <laughs> mine. Nwashtin Castle, my Disney Castle. Oh, and shout out the Brown Eyed Stitcher. She just started, she just started this one for her birthday or is going to, I think it's already passed. She started this one finally. So I'm super excited to be stitching this with you. So excited. Here we go. Check out her floss tube. Her treasure hunt bookshelf is insane. <laughs> it's amazing. Some of her newer projects are really nice too. Okay. There we go. Still just working on trying to fill in this page that seems to be never ending. The page is almost done. 
because it's a big pattern. But we're getting there. One stitch at a time, right? One stitch at a time. Okay, everybody. Thank you all so much for sticking with me this entire time. It's almost a 50 minute video. Oh, so sorry. But again, watercolor in the comments and subscribe. So don't forget those things. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful stitching week and weekend. I hope to talk to you guys soon. You guys are gonna be seeing a bunch of videos posted all at the same time because collabs are trying to come in. So there's gonna be this one, some unboxing, some stitch with me's. I hope to do some stitch with me's on some projects that aren't a collab or j that I just got for a collab. So those will be coming soon too. So if you have any suggestions, comments, or just wanna say hi, leave a comment or send me a message on Instagram and I will be sure to reply to you guys as quickly as possible. Thank you so much, bye.